Hi guys, it's Mystic Torchmaster here. Unfortunately, this is going to be a voiceover for this video because uh, apparently OBS Studio allows for some microphone settings that uh, will make the sound uh, clip. Uh, it's basically what those uh, extra bass uh, video do videos do. Okay, so this is uh, a creative world. I have uh, started from scratch. Um, I kind of felt the need, you know, to escape the complexity of uh, a survival world and just be able to create uh, whatever I want uh, without the limits of um, the survival world. Basically, you know, a creative build world. Uh, and also uh, because um, I had some memories from uh, an old server I had once. Um, that is something that will uh, happen in the near future. I am going to uh, start my own Minecraft server. I, I missed that. But uh, there on my server I created the spawn. Um, the spawn location for the server and it was... Uh, a huge, huge cathedral, um, very nicely done, you know, with all the round windows and towers, and uh, I did something, I think, like a round window with lava inside, or like a globe, it was uh, one of those really nice builds, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have the world anymore, so it's uh, it's gone forever. And this is kind of uh, what I want to recreate here. Um, yeah, basically, this is going to be a garden. That's uh, the entrance path for the for the cathedral. Um, I would think I was talking about uh, you know the fact that I began these channels. I have eight YouTube channels so far on which I post regularly. So. Uh, <clears throat> this takes time uh, and I had a few doubts last year you know I didn't quite know what uh, what I was going to do uh, given uh, some major negative events that uh, took place in mostly in my professional life uh, with things not really turning out what I wanted them to be you know I'm a, an IT guy and uh, the problem with me is that I'm not one of those guys, you know, who accepts uh, um, uh, bad behavior from bosses or no payment or doing illegal stuff. And unfortunately, at least in this part of the world, it's really, really, really difficult to uh, to earn a living. Even uh, the most basic needs, if you are an honest person and you do your job well and uh, <clears throat> you basically don't want to do anything illegal and uh, just uh, to be well paid for what you do so um, yeah there's decisions to be taken so recently I thought that I really want to uh, to be good at these channels and really do some uh, something that uh, will have an effect given that uh, some of the channels have already started growing. Uh, this is where I've uh, began this world. It, uh, this uh, highway wasn't built. I began with uh, that house over there. I don't know why this lags. That's one thing I need to um, <laughs> to be careful about. You know, just a tiny house with a little car, parking lot, some flowers, some trees, nothing uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, and then I kind of uh, forgotten about it uh, for a while. And these days I just set myself this goal that I'm going to create uh, some major builds here. Uh, for now, it's going to be a single-player world. I just told you I don't have a server. I had one. But uh, we'll see how things will uh, work out. And uh, as soon as I'll be able to afford uh, running a server, uh, this will be open to the public. 
I really wish I could do that right now. I will still try. I have a computer on my balcony. It's not used anymore. But um, I'm not sure how good it will be at running uh, a current version of Minecraft server. Uh, but I guess, you know, for two or three players, at least for a starting up, uh, maybe it will work. I will uh, give it a shot. So this is where uh, the cathedral will be. I kind of um, built this little garden, you know, like an entrance garden, like most churches or cathedrals uh, have these uh, these uh, access paths, you know, with trees on the sides and grass and flowers and all that. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to copy these uh, trees with uh, world edit a wooden axes use kind of like a selection tool and you select uh, basically the diagonal the, the diagonally opposed corners of uh, the volume you know opposing corners and then you do that selection and uh, just basically copy paste it took a while because um, you'll see in a minute it behaves rather weirdly uh, I'm still not sure how it worked I'm not entirely sure uh, what block I'm supposed to look at and in what position I need to be to um, I figured it out eventually but uh, now, until then, uh, this uh, is what happened. I need to read a little bit uh, in the documentation. There's really not nothing in the, the Minecraft chat. You know, I just write the commands. Uh, or it just has some basic info, like paste is a command that you use to paste things, you know. And, uh, wow, <laughs> that's not very helpful. Um, and I kind of struggled with this. It's a weird uh, thing. I just remembered uh, because, oh my god, yes, it, it's coming back now. Um, I thought that it, it matters uh, which way I was, uh, I was facing. And that's why I kind of uh, stood, you know, the trees appeared behind me. Uh, it copies the exact same orientation, but uh, you have to use the rotate command, and then it will rotate the the clipboard uh, 90 degrees. You know, so if uh, I wanted to do this flipped, I would have to rotate twice. You know, for 180, and then paste uh, on this block, which again didn't work out very well here. And then I noticed that uh, I was supposed to... Oh, oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, I finally got it. <laughs> it took me a while if... Uh, just now when I'm doing the voiceover I realized uh, how it used to work. And I kind of had, you know, I can't really cover... The entirety of uh, the original video because uh, you know, I was trying to you know add flowers and elements looking for uh, fences that's right um, you can see here um, a lot of uh, new fences and uh, fence doors because I have quite a few uh, mods uh, forge mods and um, a lot of them really, really nice. It adds a lot of blocks that, uh, in my opinion, should be, you know, the the default thing in the, in Minecraft. It's really uh, bizarre to me that we have such a, a narrow variety of uh, items and tools and stuff like that. You know, you wouldn't have expected that in. Uh, uh, more than 10 years of development now and uh, trust me when I say this as a an IT guy and a, a programmer um, it's not that complicated it's the base 
the core of the game, so to speak. That's uh, a little bit more complex, like the biome. <sighs> ah, I'm really tired. <laughs> Sorry. The biome generation and um, you know all the chunk loading, and that's some really heavy graphics math kind of thingy that I don't have any idea about you know but simple things like adding blocks or tools this is a thing of copy and paste the same as I did with my magic wand here so I think that is um, one of the worst um, uh, cons I would find for this uh, this game just look at how many new blocks we have here and it's not even that many mods because I don't have uh, such a powerful computer so some people are like you know like a hundred mods uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a shame I, I find no excuse for this I mean uh, not complicated stuff you know like not new completely new stuff like prismarine was or whatever bees and all that because um, it, it is a little bit difficult to to code in uh, but you know stuff that already exists but come on make a, a wider variety I mean um, say um, the fences right uh, like come on uh, just go on any like door shop or wood shop site or you know super hardware market or whatever and you're gonna see all this you know like buying tile for your kitchen or stuff like that you're gonna see dozens and dozens and dozens of models and colors and sizes and in minecraft for like for a decade we have like uh, i don't know a few maybe f five or six types of wood now come on that's that's not very not very smart for me so i really felt the need for um, a lot more uh, variety for existing for existing items um the same goes for stairs i now have uh, stairs from a lot a lot of the resources in minecraft basically i think it's a uh, it's an uh, a mod that uh, I think makes stairs out of uh, almost everything, which is uh, nice to have. I was building a, a little fence here, trying to simulate a, a real world garden. And you know, trying to get a look for it. I wasn't deciding if uh, I should leave the dirt or make it grass and kind of thinking about putting some flowers in those patches of uh, dirt between the trees and it ended it um, what's the word come on I'm tired <laughs> um, the end result was uh, was nice you'll get to see it Like I was trying to find some kind of uh, symmetry. Oh, and the thing with flowers, yeah, it's uh, another thing when they decided uh, that flowers will have uh, random positions instead of uh, in the center of the block. I mean, come on, even uh, real world uh, patches of flowers, you know, you're gonna have them set up in uh, shapes or in rows, and it's not going to be. Uh, randomly placed uh, too often especially uh, in places like these where uh, you know symmetry and uh, aesthetics uh, is a thing you know like of course finding some wild growing flowers they're not gonna be lined up in the square but you know having a garden the entrance to the cathedral a very nice place or a park or 
they're going to be set up in uh, pretty precise patterns and uh, unfortunately you can't do that anymore actually this is a new idea now I might find uh, I might try to find look at that look at that I mean come on that's not that's more than bad that's better it's baddest <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and find a mod that does this if not I might have my first go at uh, trying to make a mod myself but I don't know there's a uh, there's kind of other stuff left to be done especially on the texturing because uh, I'm not even done with uh, I'm because I told you I'm building my own uh, resource pack I'm not even done with the all the original Minecraft textures and now I've added this ton of, uh, of forge mods each with tens and hundreds of new blocks and items and uh, when I when I st uh, began editing them in Photoshop, you know, I was quite feeling that I'm going to get there. You know, I modified a lot of them. Must have been over a thousand. Uh, I was kind of feeling uh, that oh, I'm going to get it ready, and now I feel like I'm starting all over again. It's uh, so many, but it might be something you know, even for uh, videos like a daily. Uh, texture modding I was trying to see if I can install like a an entrance banner but um, then I remembered that letter blocks are still not a thing in Minecraft that is another thing you'd have to explain me why do we still have to write with blocks instead of having letter blocks you know like blocks with a letter on them that's a that's a bit silly if you ask me uh, it it's, should be something, and it might be something that I will make if uh, I decide to begin creating mods. That's just stupid. I mean, take a look at uh, Seven Days to Die, for instance. You have the the metal letters that you made with, I don't know, uh, scrap iron or something like that. And... Uh, it's pretty nice, you know, you can name your building or whatever, but when you have to create letters the size of, twice the size of your of your house, that's not really nice, you know. I would really like, I, I, I have no idea, I, I forgot if I searched for a, such a mod, or if it just... Or if it just doesn't exist, but um, it will most definitely be something I'll uh, look into. I was trying to see if I can find some lights for this fence. The problem is that these rods uh, were kind of a bit too long and, I don't know, spoiling the yeah, aspect, at least for me. I don't, uh, I don't like how, how this looks. And uh, yeah, I decided they're uh, not really uh, to be used. But uh, among all the mods I uh, added, there's uh, a couple with uh, lighting fixtures, and uh, you'll see in a moment that I found uh, something interesting. Uh, there's this thing called a dynamic light and I suppose it's called like that because it uh, actually I'm not very sure uh, it says it follows worlds around itself uh, I'm not sure if they talk about the light itself or the light fixture because it does this it basically kind of shapes based on where you place it which was interesting, but uh, really not uh, 
not for this uh, not for this place it's very interesting for for other stuff like you know making ceiling lights and uh, stuff like that so I uh, also tried to place the lights behind the trees to see how it would look like but then uh, I figured like come on where do you see a uh, light put on uh, lights put on trees or at least on the bases that's not something you see every day playing a little bit around with uh, with the light just to see how it behaves uh, nothing too interesting and then I found this uh, simple light bulb that just clicked with uh, what I wanted and this is a uh, this is what uh, I currently have and to be honest it's uh, really interesting and I can't wait to use it in the more builds so many new possibilities I mean imagine you you were limited uh, in classic Minecraft you know to basically torches and glowstone uh, uh, come on you know lighting just take a look on a you know, lighting bulb, lighting solution website, you know, eShop. Uh, th those things have like hundreds and thousands of products, all kind of shapes and sizes and colors and powers. And come on, you can't cope that. But I mean, at least 10 different lighting fixtures, you know, if not a 100. I don't even have a hundred, you know, but just, just as I said, just a little variety. So you can really do some good looking stuff. I don't know. Uh, yes, some Minecraft builds are amazing with the original items and blocks and everything, but uh, I never thought that they're enough. It's uh, very limiting. It was enough, like a decade ago, but uh, it's 2020, we have smartphones, we have smart cars, we, we're almost going to Mars, and you know, uh, just torches in Minecraft, really. Uh, and it would be okay, you know, if you say that it's kind of a fantasy world simulating, you know, natural light like fires and torches and don't forget we have redstone too, so uh, the age of electronics is definitely happening in Minecraft, so uh, technology uh, is it's, it's pretty modern, so you would expect uh, some... Uh, and there are um, many interesting things that I'll cover in future videos, all sorts of sensors. I think I have a thing that changes color, like a color LED. And you can also use it in the redstone circuits and so on. It's uh, really, really things that should have existed originally. I have no explanation why they don't implement such. You know, it's just an idea that comes to you like uh, overnight, and then it takes like a couple of minutes to to code in. It's beyond me why. Uh, why they don't do it I don't think it would have like much negative impact you know like um, economically that's bad see what I what I what I exactly what I said you know the, all the new items but the textures are crap and uh, I don't like that uh, I don't like it at all I don't think it would affect sales that much you know because you're not uh, bad things happen when you change or remove stuff that's a uh, that's a bummer always or when you do bad changes to things that already exist and work fine like the centered flowers centered flowers were just fine I didn't need off-center flowers you know that's a thing that might prevent me from wanting to buy the game in the future you know that's something that might, you know, everything is squares, perfectly lined up, and the flowers are not. What were they thinking? I don't know. Uh, 
But no, this these would be new things that just don't have any effect on you whatsoever. You know, you can choose to use them or not. It's not something that modifies the gameplay in any way, shape, or form. It's just a larger variety of nice stuff. Then I added that grass and just kind of wanted to go for a you know a natural garden kind of look. That is if you ever saw a diamond floor garden anywhere. You might think if if, if anything like this existed, I think it, it will be in Dubai. <laughs> And then I try to figure out where to put grass, you know, because I want it uh, all to be grass. But uh, leaving the flower patches with just dirt, you know, because it looks natural. Usually when you have flowers, uh, you have the darker dirt, you know, because you clean everything in the... See, I tried doing this, but... Uh, it just doesn't look uh, as pretty as it does with uh, just plain old dirt. So I just uh, kept uh, using the dirt. Oh, and I think I've changed them all, and now I had to. Uh, yeah, I had to replace all of them <laughs> because uh, I was already having uh, grass blocks yeah so much better sees that natural flower patch aspect really gives a natural feeling to it and that's that's what you'd expect to see uh, in a real world garden so I'm just going ahead and uh, rebuilding the last patch I'm still not, uh, haven't begun building the, the cathedral, but come on, it needed to have an entrance. You can't just go uh, from the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert, you know, just uh, walk into a cathedral, <laughs> especially in the desert. So it really needs this nice, nice entrance. And that's kind of a... Uh, all I did. Just finishing up the other end. I missed a few spots of uh, grass. Checking up this side too. And then I suppose checking to see how it uh, looks in the night. Maybe. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, basically that's uh, that's it. Wait, wasn't that? Oh. And thanks for watching. That's all. I'll get to the cathedral next time, and uh, we'll do some more. Obviously, a lot more to come with this build. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe, and we'll. Uh, See this world growing together. Bye.